My name is Rebecca Huntley. I'm a social researcher and writer. I spent the last 10 years listening to Australians talk about their lives. Uh, everything work, love, relationships, education, politics, you name it. So a couple of years ago I started researching my family history and particularly the life of my uh, grandmother and great-grandmother who came from Italy before the First World War. And these were women who weren't particularly literate. So there weren't lots of letters or diaries, but there were photos and there were a few documents. Um, luckily, uh, the National Library digitised a, um, a lot of the immigration documents. So there's some documents there that allowed me to piece together a little bit about their life. Reflecting now on my life and uh, the documents in my life, a lot is just not written down. There are some letters from when I was a kid, but pretty much all photos and all correspondence is digital. So if my great-granddaughter wants to understand the kind of life I lived, if I don't leave some kind of footprint, if I don't protect those most important documents, she may not have either hard copy documents in a kind of box gathering dust somewhere, but she might also not have the digital documents. So it just shows you that we've in a very quick time moved from, you know, the physical world of physical photos, uh, uh, you know, all kinds of official documents being in, in hard copy letters and diaries to a kind of digital life. And we need to be able to preserve that in order for us to, you know, really fully take benefit of, of understanding how people live their lives today. One of the things you notice when you talk to Australians about their digital life is how many, uh, how many photos are um, in people's devices I mean, they're lucky even to download them onto a, a desktop and they're certainly not very good and vigilant about backing them up. And every now and then people say, oh my God, if I lost my phone, I'd lose the first three years of my daughter's life. Um, the other thing, of course, you notice too is, is interesting correspondence and it might be between, uh, and this might be on email, but it also might be in some other kinds of, in some other form. You know, in the old days when you wrote a cor correspondence between you and your mother, might have lived somewhere else, you would have found a way to preserve it. And we've just kind of lost those old, old traditions of preserving those kinds of things. So we forget that we're creating important, meaningful content in our working lives and our private lives and our lives as, as, as citizens or community members all the time. So I do think we do need to start thinking about not only preserving the photos that we take of our children and the correspondence uh, between us and the people that we love to pass down to future generations, we also need to think about any um, document that might be uh, correspondence between us and somebody we admire, a politician or, or a writer or a sports person. I mean, even just an email exchange, what, however kind of simple, could be a really important part of our national story and one worth preserving.